What's going on YouTube? Lining up in your back with another video. I'm here at the race shop. We're working on this uh, late model stock car, getting ready to hang this body. So today's gonna be a pretty short episode, but I'm just gonna go over some of the stuff that my dad found. I'm actually in here in the shop with dad right now. Uh, we're gonna get this motor fastened down because we did lower it. And then I've got some of these body parts that we moved in. So we're just gonna try to get this thing ready to set on blocks and uh, hang this new body. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. Tonight I'm drinking a red Josie from Grand Strand Brewing in Myrtle Beach. So comment down below and let me know what your favorite craft beer at the very moment is. And I'll have to check it out. So a couple of things that we did or dad did last night is we did lower the seat down because it was slightly high, which I mentioned in my last video. Heater's running right now, so it might be a little loud, but I think you guys still will be able to hear me. Um, he readjusted that, dropped it down, and then these were the bolts and washers that came out of this back plate and on the very bottom of the seat. And this is something I should have caught, but me and Jason did not catch before. And I highly recommend anyone that is driving a car that's not yours, or even if it is your car, make sure you go over all your seat bolts because this is dangerous. We, uh, we I guess we were rushing whenever we put the seat in, which we were, and we put these washers on, which are these little thin like deli meat washers and this bolt almost basically pulled right through it or could have if I would have hit the wall hard. Same thing for all of these, so that's not good. That's on me. Dad chewed me out for it. But he did redo all that and you can see he's got thicker washers on that base plate and then same thing at the very bottom so the seat doesn't kill me. Another thing that we found which really isn't a huge deal but I think it is gonna help the brake pedal was not out enough it was kind of sunken down in and I wasn't getting a full throw of the brake so we adjusted that pulled the brake pedal back out so now the brake pedal feels a lot more fluent so it should be better We're also shortening these motor mount bolts because they were pretty long. So saving weight wherever we can. All right, dad said he was deucing out. So last time you guys had seen this, all of the old body was still in here. I moved it down to the bottom and this greenhouse has got to go out tomorrow. Somebody is going to purchase that. They're coming to pick it up on Saturday. So that's clutch. We get to get that out of here and it's going to pay for a set of tires. So that's nice. Um, I do have some of the newer body parts up here. Uh, we do have the car on blocks now. So five inch blocks. And I uh, got to put the tires and wheels on it in this episode too. Tomorrow we're going to set the greenhouse on it, be ready to rock and roll, start hanging this body. This is the body that I'm going to use, at least the white parts. The black body that I got from Falk is up at the dash shop, so I got to bring it down here. But I'll show you guys kind of the issues with this body and what I'm going to have to do to fix it. Uh, same thing up there. So this bumper cover... I'm not so sure I'm gonna use this thing. I think I could use the spoiler off of it. This came from Carol's, and I think I've got somebody else that's gonna give me another bumper cover that's in a little bit better shape. It's got this big hole in it right here, which really I could fix. I mean, it wouldn't look great, but I can fix that. But my biggest concern is the lip on it right here is ripped off, which that's gonna be a problem because obviously that's how it connects to the quarter so i could make me a little aluminum piece and connect it there and just re-fasten it in and make sure it lines up which i may still do because i think this is still a usable rear bumper but for the time being especially at the start of the year i think i want to uh 
I think I want to make it look a little nicer. So if I can get my hands on a better looking bumper cover, that's what I'm going to do. But this spoiler, on the other hand, I think I could use it. We'll just have to see. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty short video, but I just wanted to make like an in-between because we are doing stuff and I feel like I can record this and still make a, you know, an eight minute video out of it. And it's still useful and somewhat entertaining, I guess, so as far as what we're doing to the race car. And it is part of the process. So I do want to document that. I mean, that's basically all I've done on this channel is document, you know, progress through race shop restoration. Now, obviously, we're, you know, getting this race car ready to hang the body on it. I'm going to take you guys through all of that. And then hopefully, you know, we'll be rocking and rolling with the racing content all year, along with finishing up the race shop too. So, um, yeah, so this might not be a very long video, but you know, it, it's serving its purpose. So this one's got a little crack in it. It's the right front fender. Uh, it's obviously got this bust in it here as well. That's got a little aluminum won't fix. So we'll put us a little aluminum piece right here. Also make one that fits right here. And then just countersink on the top, a couple of eight inch rivets and let her eat. You know, it might not look the greatest, but throw a little piece of uh, white decal paper over it and you won't even be able to tell hardly. This fender has the same issues. This one's just got a little bust up here. Probably had to put a little piece of aluminum behind it, white decal paper over it. She'll be beautiful. I always say my cars are, uh, they're 15 footers because if you stand 15 foot or more away from it, they look beautiful. But if you get any closer, you know, you're gonna see a few blemishes, but that's part of it, I guess. So we were going through a bunch of the springs we had. We actually still have a good bit, a lot of cool over stuff there, some big spring stuff. And then in the back, we've got some big spring stuff too. I'm not gonna walk you back there, but I do wanna show you this. <laughs> a lot of you guys will think this is cool. So dad basically needed a separate building out back. This is also our pisser, but I don't have a light out here, but as you can see, this is his white house show car trailer. Uh, I'll show you this during the day at some point, but it's a literal trailer back here that he made into a building, but it is his old show car trailer, big ass heavy trailer. Very cool though. That ain't good. <clears throat> all right, all four rubbers on the ground. So, um, as I talked about in yesterday's video, you've got to set it on blocks in order to set or mount the body. Um, these little wood blocks that you guys seen us putting it on earlier, we had five inch blocks on the right side, only four inch blocks on the left side. So we put that little piece of metal on there to make it five inches. But all that does is essentially help you set your ride height so that you're legal. And to be honest, they don't really check it very many places, but you don't want to mount it too low and then get caught being too low at the track and then you're pretty much shit out of luck. So. Um, that's why we did that. Again, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what your favorite craft beer is. I've been trying a bunch of different ones lately. I like local stuff, but, you know, if it's something that's, you know, I guess nationwide, I'll still, I'm still willing to try it. Craft beer is so, uh, it's, it's evolving every day. And there's a bunch of different craft beers out there. So if you have one you like, you've been drinking it, drop it in the comments. Let's go. I'll give it a shot. Also, I meant to show you guys, behind this, I have my two doors. Ah! Okay, I have my two doors, and there is nothing wrong with them, so they should just bolt right on, and uh, I mean, there's a little dent down there, but we can fix that. Pick this back up without breaking something. But yeah, so doors should be good. So I think, get this greenhouse down here, get her mounted up, and we are going to be cooking. All right, this is where I'm leaving it for the day. 
like I said, short video, but I just wanted... I guess I could have put this in another video, but it's easier for me just to get two uploads out. So make sure you guys tune in to the next video. That'll be when we officially start hanging the body, put the uh, greenhouse on it, and all that good stuff. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. As always, I really do appreciate the support. You guys have been absolutely killing it lately. Uh, any of you guys that are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 5,500. I really think that this channel is going to take off in 2022. It's all thanks to you guys, and it's all thanks to your help. Um, I really think that the diversity on the channel as far as the content goes is going to help, but ultimately it's up to you guys. So thanks again. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, drop a like on this video. Let's try to get it to 200 likes. If we can get 200 likes, that would be a good day. So thanks again, guys. Have a fantastic night, morning, afternoon, day, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.